at Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C. for Capital Pride. Let's go check out what's happening here in D.C. Happy Pride! nice sight. I just want to say this is beautiful. So, uh, whew, I have the privilege of introducing somebody who needs no introduction. First of all, in case you don't know me, my name is Sheila Alexander Reed. Pronouns are she, her, hers. And I have had the privilege and honor to serve as director of the Mayor's Office of LGBTQ Affairs for six years, the entire six years that uh, my boss has been in office. Let me just look a couple of words and then we're going to wrap this up. She listened to your concerns. She followed through on her commitment to prioritize DC's LGBTQ community. She set a high bar for other mayors to follow and she has invested in uplifting our community, particularly centering trans women of color. Give it up! I am proud to introduce the mayor of Washington, D.C., Mayor Muriel Bowser. Happy Pride! Happy Pride in person! It is so good to see all of you. Uh, we certainly missed a lot last year. I am so happy that we can be together today. I want to start by giving a big shout out to this lady, Sheila Alexander Reed. <laughs> Sheila has served me well these last six years, but certainly her advocacy in Washington, D.C. for LGBTQ rights is well known, storied infamous uh, and I have no doubt that it will continue but she told me that she's going to be moving on out of our office on to bigger and better things but let's give her a big round of applause for her service to Washington DC we know that Sheila is a champion she's a champion for young people and for women and she's an, a champion for making sure that everyone, everyone is treated fairly and has every opportunity in this city. We are going to continue to make sure that D.C. is a leader in LGBTQ issues, aren't we? Yes, yes, yes. I've had the privilege of going literally around the world right. to tell people that we are the gayest city in America. In the world. In the world. In the world. In the world. So that, that also requires uh, us to take on that position of leadership to tell other cities what they should be doing. They should not be discriminating against kids because of who they are. They should access to workplaces or housing because of who they are. And they should not go be going to legislatures, to governor's houses. They should not be running for office on these issues that divide us instead of bringing us together. And they should learn from the LGBTQ community right here in Washington, D.C. If their mayor isn't giving them what they need, they got to tell the mayor, give us more. Yeah. So that's exactly. 
exactly what we're doing in this budget. I'm sending to the council investing more in workforce programs focused on LGBTQ residents. <laughs> Violence in their homes and on our streets. It means that we will provide proper funding for our Office of Human Rights to investigate swiftly any complaints against our very robust human rights law that we are so proud of in Washington, D.C. Yes, it also means that all of us, LGBTQ residents, allies, all D.C. residents are called to stand shoulder to shoulder and arm to arm when any of us is attacked. Are you with me? That means if you hear ugly rhetoric, you speak out against it. If it's at your house or your workplace or among your friends, will you do that? It means if you see a kid that's in trouble, that needs a safe place to stay, that needs mental health, that needs substance abuse, that needs anything, you speak up and you connect the milk with us, will you do that? But that also means, I gotta tell you something, DC, I see a lot of young, beautiful people here. Are you all vaccinated? Yeah. Hey, Captain Pride, they told me they're all vaccinated, but I'm willing to bet that somebody can walk across the street right now and get their free shot, no questions asked, so that Washington, D.C. will remain open. Okay. So, Capital Pod, we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to work for still. We know that the discrimination and the violence is real. We know there are too many guns on the street, and we know when all of us aren't safe, none of us is safe. So I know you're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with me, and I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Happy Pride. Decriminalize sex work. 
we show up and be visible every single year, but not just in June, 365 days a year. So we want to thank you for being responsible, for being a community, and do we have everybody up here for this photo now? So. No? Hurry, hurry. Oh. All right. On three, everyone say pride. One, two, three. some great speeches and now it's time for the mobile parade. They are lining the cars up. <laughs> 